It's a break from the traditional industry in this part of the province. When one thinks of wineries, their minds instantly turn to the Okanagan. But a local winery is forging ahead. 2,200 plants are now in the ground, everything from the traditional rhubarb to the lesser-known goji berry. BC's most northerly winery is well underway. So the project started in uh, May of 2013. Uh, we had uh, come across this piece of property. We'd been thinking about it for a while, but uh, it just seemed the perfect fit, the perfect location, close to Prince George and uh, close to downtown. Um, not to mention being on the river with a beautiful view of downtown. We were really excited when we, when we found it. It truly was a family affair for the Bells, hashing out business ideas over Sunday dinners. This idea looked to be the most exciting and challenging. Once underway, the Northern Lights Estate Winery added a new member to its family, Yuimi Touchet, stolen from a tree planting operation. Pretty sour. <laughs> I was very excited. I think this position was written for me because I've been at home for three years with my children and I was just starting to look and this came up and it's just the perfect match because we really like Prince George. We want to stay in the area so it's perfect. After securing the 4.2 hectare property a lot of hard work has transpired. The last year has been uh, very eventful. We've uh, started out with a raw piece of land uh, brought it down to uh, an agricultural piece and now we have over 2200 plants in the ground. Uh, we have uh, many different varieties of fruits and berries and uh, they are all growing tremendously well. Uh, we're very excited and, and almost have 100% survival rate. We start from scratch. Everything, nothing has been done in the region. Right. So there's some, there's a few producers but there's a lot of research involved and we just try to make, make it the best, the best we can yeah, with the knowledge and the, the information that we have. With the fruit and berry plants now in the ground, the groundwork for an amphitheater and winery itself can get underway. The winery will be located on the south side of the Nachaco River and it will tout a restaurant. We're right on schedule to be open in the uh, summer of 2015 and uh, obviously there's lots of work to be done between now and then, but, but uh, we've got a great team on it, uh, great people in place and we're looking forward to continuing our work with the city who have been so helpful to this point. With a bit of luck and a lot of hard work, by this time next year, we can all enjoy the fruits of their labor. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.